do you need to wear a specific outfit when driving? Be more specific, should you dress up? Should you dress up while driving? Now, I have three different perspectives on this, so let's get right into it. Number one, luxury rides. Now, if you're driving for Uber Black or Lyft Lux or any of these luxury options, I feel like you just have to dress up. I feel like it's part of the territory because when someone orders a luxury ride, they're not only expecting a luxury vehicle because that's part of the requirement, but also a luxury experience. I'll put that in quotation marks. And for me, being a YouTuber, I've actually been fortunate enough, only a couple times, but I've been fortunate enough to actually have some luxury rides comp with me, not just for Uber and Lyft, but other services. And almost always, they're in a suit. They're dressed up head to toe. They look very professional. They're very accommodating. All these different things that you're expecting with a luxury ride. Because if you think about it, if someone's going to spend that extra money to get that ride, they probably have money. They're probably an influencer or a celebrity, an A-lister, some type of figure that is ordering that ride because they want a luxury experience. And if you're being one of those drivers that's getting paid more to do a luxury ride, I feel like dressing up and looking the part goes along with it. Number two, normal Uber and Lyft rides. Being honest, I think you just need to dress casual. I don't really think you need to dress up a ton. I actually tested this out in Boston. I did three different tests or experiments. One was me wearing a full-on suit with a tie and everything. Second was just casual. And third, I was wearing pajamas with a tank top. And when I wore the suit, people weren't really like mad, but they were kind of like, Oh, like what's with the, the suit? I even had some people be like, hey, dude, like, nice suit. But they'd say it in a, uh, like, the t their tone was more of, why are you wearing a suit when driving for Lyft and Uber? Like, it just Lyft and Uber. When wearing casual clothes, pretty much no reaction about what I was wearing. When I was wearing pajamas with a tank top, I did have a couple of people say, oh, dude, like, nice pajamas, right? So I feel like when it comes to pajamas and a tank top, that's a little too underdressed. However, though, it does depend on where you are. Here in LA, I feel like I've gotten a lot of drivers who are wearing just like swim trunks or pajamas as well and a tank top because that is kind of the culture. In Boston, that's almost, I think, too underdressed. Now, what should you actually wear? I don't think, like I said, it really matters as long as you're just casual. Jeans and a t-shirt is fine. I mean, even if you want to wear like sweatpants, like this outfit in particular, I feel like this is fine as well. People don't really care about your outfit as long as you're not too overdressed or underdressed but always remember you're way better off if let's say you only have pajamas or suit in your closet like let's say that's your option those are your two options always be more overdressed but overall just look casual you'll be fine lastly number three are unique situations these are kind of random but what i'm talking about is dressing up let's say for occasions or situations going on. So I remember every single time there's a sporting event in Boston, people dress up in Bruins gear or New England Patriots gear or Red Sox gear. And they kind of represented a certain thing or idea or a certain like, you know, demographic, so to speak. So people would come in the car and be like, oh dude, good shirt, good jersey, good hat, whatever. I remember actually, I was wearing the Ash Ketchum hat from Pokemon and the amount of comments I get off the charts. I also got people tipping me in cash because this was, this was way before you could really tip on the app. Like it was almost shunned against, which is weird. In hindsight, it's a uh, quick story. It's weird that back in the day, Uber and Lyft would almost tell you to not accept tips. That like if you accept a tip, it'd be almost rude. It was weird. But anyway, they, I got a ton of tips in cash because people said, hey man, not only were you a great driver, but that Ash Ketchum half from Pokemon, great. So if you have any way you can dress up, just to make it more unique, like let's say it's Halloween. Maybe you dress up in Halloween stuff. If it's St. Patrick's Day, dress up in a full-on St. Patrick's Day uh, costume. There was also another story. This happened, I think, in 2015-ish. A driver in Sydney, I believe it was in Sydney, dressed up as Batman and would do the whole Batman impression and everything. And people loved it. Like, I guess Lyft said, or I think it was Lyft, they started getting messages of people saying, hey, can I request the Batman driver? Now, do you need to go all out in a Batman costume and do all these impressions? Not necessarily, but if let's say there's something you want to do to make the driving experience more unique, it's not a bad idea to maybe like, if you can do a really good impression, if let's say, again, maybe there's an event going on and you want to dress up, any way that you can kind of dress in a unique way that makes you stand out can not only equal a more fun experience, but also more money in terms of getting tipped.